This is lightning. This wasn't known until recently, this century. Allah in the Quran mentions that male and female plants and trees, that they're male and female. Allah mentions space travel. Allah mentions high altitude breathing problems. Allah mentions deep sea darkness, which occurs only a depth of 200 meters or lower. Human beings can't go less than 40 meters without breathing equipment that wasn't developed until the last 150 years. Allah mentions deep sea waves and internal waves which cannot be seen with the human eye. Allah mentions them in the Quran. Allah mentions human embryonic development. Prophet Muhammad he didn't have nuclear magnetic resonance imaging, imaging for all those that are at the medical college. He mentioned in amazing detail, Allah mentions human embryonic development. This wasn't possible without advanced technology only discovered in the last century. Allah pinpoints exactly an area near Palestine as the lowest place on the face of the earth. Topographically, you know you've got the high parts like Everest and the lower parts. Bangladesh, very low, gets flooded. Kathmandu, very high, never gets flooded. Topographically, they're high and low. Allah mentions in the Quran the lowest part of the earth, pinpoints an area. Topographical maps confirm this, but they didn't have topographical maps even 200 years ago. They didn't have topographical maps of the entire planet. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said in Sahih Muslim, an authentic collection of his saints, that towards the end of time, that the end of time would not come upon us until the lands of the Arabs were once again green lands filled with rivers. Now I don't know if you've ever been to Arabia or seen the pictures of the Sahara Desert. It ain't green and there's no rivers. But Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, the end of time would not come upon us until the lands of the Arabs were once again green, filled with rivers. Scientists tell us that uh, there was an ice age and in the periods during it and before it that the whole of the Arabian Peninsula was covered in vegetation and rivers. And that in the future there's going to be a similar ice age of a lesser degree. The scientists are calling it the snow age. Look it up on www.snowage, whatever site it'll be on. And they say that the North Pole is already moving slowly southwards. And we can see the snow blizzards striking Northern Europe and America every winter. They're getting worse, more severe and lower. Ask the scientists. We're not ex meteorological experts, they are. Once this polar snow reaches the Arabian Peninsula, once again, the land will be green and filled with rivers. Scientific fact, the ozone's melting the ice poles. Did Prophet Muhammad know that 1,400 years ago? Prophet Muhammad mentioned that the, 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 the end of time will not come until rain burns. 1,400 years ago, did they have factories producing acid rain? Was this known? Maybe there really will be rain coming from the clouds. But maybe it's the acid rain we have now, Allah knows. But the rain is burning. Allah mentions in the Quran human psychology, temperament, past civilization and their downfall, historical facts, future predictions. But the greatest proof that the Quran is what it says it is and that Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was who he said he was, is the clear and easy to understand doctrine of faith articulated in the Qur'an. Allah says in Surah An-Nahl, Ayah 36, Verily, truly, we have sent amongst every nation a messenger proclaiming, Worship Allah and stay away from false deities, from false gods. Allah tells us that the purpose of life is not trivial pursuit with Chris Tarrant, or how to get rich, or how to be famous, or, 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 or you know, any other meaningless aim or objective or pastimes or gains. Allah tells us in Surah Dhar, uh, Dhariyat, Ayah 56, that Allah says, I did not create the jinn or human beings except that they should worship me. That's the purpose of life. That's the purpose of life. And nothing should get in the way of that. Not your culture your surroundings nothing not secular knowledge not money not hunger not poverty not fear of death nothing should come before that 
Allah says in 